One animal about to learn a new life lesson is a young male from the Sengi family, a curious group of creatures from southern Africa. What is a Sengi? What is a Sengi? God. They're like a very strange little ball of fluff with very long sort of kangaroo-type legs, a long rat-like tail, and then this really cool little trunk. Surprisingly, the Sengi's closest genetic relative is an animal 8,000 times its size. The clue is in its trunk-like nose. They're part of Afrotheria, which is basically a group of mammals like elephant, tenrex, and aardvarks. They're roughly related to each other. I just love them. I just saw them and there was an instant connection. There are currently seven Sengis at Chester Zoo. Three females and four males. But there is one that outshines them all. My particular favourite is our main breeding male. So um, we kind of nickname him the stud because he's uh, very successful with the ladies. really handsome. He's got perfect hair. He's very confident. And he's really good at making babies. So whenever we uh, put him in with one of the females, we pretty much guaranteed to get a baby at the end of it. The keepers are keen to continue breeding the Sengi, as the African grasslands where they come from are being eradicated, threatening their survival. So this afternoon, the studs got an appointment with a female. Yeah. They've, they've been together before, so it should be uh, fairly straightforward. Basically, when they see each other, they start drumming their feet, and it's like a courtship thing, it's sort of, here I am, look how hot I am, sort of thing. So they just start chasing each other. It's a high-speed chase. Sengis can run up to 30 kilometres an hour. This is good. It's not too fraught. You don't want it to be too sort of persistent. If they're just constantly chasing each other and biting each other, that's as bad as if they're just sitting and doing nothing. So you want sort of a nice level of occasional chasing and then they'll rest. A female's not going to mate with a male who just sits there and wimps out in the corner. He needs to show her that he's strong and willing and, and that he's going to produce good, strong offspring. Oh, he's sharing his food. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. Leave you guys to it. The stud has sired all the 14 babies that have been born at Chester since he arrived. But now he's nearing the end of his working life. Sengi can live up to sort of seven years, um, but, sort of, you know, four or five is also a pretty good age for them. He's just over three years now, so at some point, he's not going to be there to do the job. You know, that, that does mean that we need to sort of get someone else to take his spot. The team have a successor in mind for the stud. His son. But the signs aren't encouraging. He's very wimpy. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a more wimpy sangi. He's scared of locusts, which I... <laughs> that tells you everything. He's scared of locusts, that's one of their, their main food sources. The son's never been with a female before, but he'll soon have to take this first step into manhood. I'm hopeful that once he sees one of the girls, he's going to be uh, getting stuck in like his dad does. In the house of small mammals, it's an important day for the son of the stud. Today, we're um, going to mix the, the stud son with a female for the first time. She's a seasoned breeder herself. She's had, um, had youngsters before. So she knows what she's doing, but the task is going to be whether he knows what he's doing. It's the moment of truth. The door separating him from Sally is open. Hopefully he'll take after his dad and uh, get the job done straight away.
basically he's terrified that a whole other world has just appeared on the other side. He's very, very hesitant to go into the other side where the female is. A bit like, what the hell's going on? Not, not sure about this. It's not the great first impression, because you do have to interact a little bit to make a baby. After sort of the initial disappointment, he did sort of pluck up his courage a little bit, and he, he you know, ventured into the other side. Approached her, took one look at her, and promptly ran away. In the end, basically, they just both went and sat under a rock on the opposite side of the enclosure and ignored each other. Yeah, at this stage, he, he is not taken after his dad at all. Um, yeah. Yeah, digging a hole's not going to help. It's his first day. Hopefully, he'll. Um, Get the idea. We shall see. The son of the stud is coming to the end of his four weeks with Sally. Today, the team will find out if their time together has been well spent. So, the best indication we have to tell if they're pregnant is by weighing them. Obviously, if you're pregnant, you put weight on. It's logical. So um, with the Sengi, we weigh them all the time, so we, we have a sort of a standard weight for them. So they're about 40 grams, just as a sort of a baseline weight. And then when they're pregnant, we see sort of an increase of up to about 20 grams. Oh, then you. Near the drill. And we wait. Everything in small mammals is patience. That's it. One step further. That's cheating. Obviously, if, if she is pregnant, that would be fantastic. It would be really pleasing to get um, youngsters from a, from a different male. 40 grams. 40 grams is a normal weight. So, unfortunately, the male's not sort of done his job. Um, she's definitely not pregnant. So I think we've, we've kind of come to the decision now that um, the son's not going to do the job on this occasion, so um, we're going to go back to the stud and, and get him in there, get a baby on the ground. It's important for these females to continue breeding, so we don't want to leave her too long um, with a useless male. The stud has stepped in to make up for the failure of his son. He's now been paired with Sally. He's gone straight in there. Um, he's doing all the right things. They're foot drumming at each other. He's chasing her a little bit, um, asserting himself, making sure he's sort of in charge. And yeah, hopefully they've mated. Yeah, guys. The pair have been together for four weeks. So keepers want to check Sally's weight again to see if she's pregnant this time. Mealworms on the scales, and hopefully she will just hop on, eat a mealworm, and we get a weight off her. Yeah, hopefully she'll be pregnant. Is it a good girl? Oh, she's 49 grams. That's a good increase. That's a good indication that she's pregnant. Very exciting that I have baby Sengi. Um, every time, you, you think you'll lose the excitement, but every time it's just as exciting. Yeah, obviously, I'm very proud of him. He's, he's my favourite, my boy. This is, what, 16th youngster, I think, we're on now. So he's, uh, he's done himself a good job. Mm -hmm.